G'day everybody and welcome to a second video for <coughs> sorry for the um, Kodi update um, series. So last video we looked at how to update your actual version of Kodi from whatever version you're currently running to version 17. In this video I'm going to show you how to update or install um, a build for your Kodi machine um, so you can have access to live TV, to movies, to TV shows, um, to a kids section, all that type of thing. Um, the build I use is Top Tutorials Ultra 2T. Um, but before we do jump into that, I'll show you the build that I'm currently using for testing. Um, it'll only be about a three second um, display. And then if this is something that you want, just let me know in the comments below. And I'm more than happy to show you how to install that one as well. It's a very similar way how to do it, but um, I'm more than happy to walk you through that. Okay, without further waiting or hesitating, let's jump to Cody and I will show you how to install that new build clean and stable. Okay, everybody, and welcome into Cody. As you can see, I have got a build currently running in here, and this is a schism build. Um, I thought I'd show you this quickly before I wipe it off and show you how to do the clean install. As you can see, it's quite a nice layout and how to watch the movies in here. Um, TV shows down the bottom there. It's all got the latest stuff there as well. Um, a lot of, some of the old stuff. Uh, you've got TV shows. Uh, you've got the kids area. Um, you've got collection. We'll go to the kids area just quickly just show you what the variety there for kids um, but like I said I'm not going to dwell on this much as I want to show you um, the process on how to install the um, the latest build of uh, top tutorials so there's the kids area um, so it's got lots of stuff on there for the kids as well so th this this is a nice build I haven't fully tested it yet that's how come I haven't really showed you guys uh, much of it or anything of it at the moment but if, if you like the look of this and like the feel of it let me know down below and I'm happy to um, do a demo on how to install this as well okay let's continue okay guys let's start again here and with are in Cody 17 now as you can see it's quite a bit different on the side here and I have got a lot of the add-ons still here so the first thing we need to do is come here and click on the main menu here we want to click on the little cog we want to go down the file manager and we want to add a source now we want to give uh, the location of where we're getting this information from um, so as you can see there I've already got it in there um, so you type that in it's http colon forward slash forward slash top tutorials dot co dot uk forward slash Cody and we go OK and we just give it a name down here at the bottom so we'll just call it top T and we go OK again so I'll just leave that on the screen there just a few moments for you so how we got there was from the main screen we clicked on the middle cog and then that went to the settings area and from the settings area we went to file manager and add source and then we added the source gave it a name and now we're going OK so you can see that that's in the list there so let's go back again and back one more time go down to add-ons click on the little box up in the top here and install from zip now we just want to look for the one that we just did and so we come down that list there and find my top T one we want to come down to fresh start and then plug in video fresh start .zip. and we click on that and give it a couple of seconds or um, for it to install I generally find if you come back to the main menu there we go it's installed so by the time you come back to the main menu it's, it's generally installed so we want to go to add-ons from the main menu
program add-ons. And as you can see, amongst all this stuff I've got in here, we've got Fresh Start. One click on that one. Do you want? Do you wish to restore your coded configuration to defeat default to default, to default settings? Yes, we do. And now we'll go through and clean everything up on your Kodi. Um, and it will be nice and clean for you. So as the process is finished, you're now back to a fresh Kodi configuration. Please reboot your system or reset your Kodi in order for the changes to apply. So what I'll do, I'll just exit out and I'll come back in. And we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so here we are back into Kodi, and it is as clean as a whistle. So if we go down to add-ons now, there is nothing in there at all. Um, so this is a nice clean install of Kodi, and from this point, what we are going to do is install a new copy of Top Tutorials Repo Ultra TT. Um, as I said, the one that we just saw, if you like that, the schism one, please let me know, I'm happy to do that for you. So where we want to start here again is hit the little cog in the middle. We want to go to file manager. Okay, so here we enter the same path as we did before. So we chuck that in. So it's toptutorials.co.uk forward slash Cody. And we go okay, give it a name, tell, call it whatever you like. At this stage I'm just going to call it Cody. And we can see that it's started. And you can see that this is a nice and fresh. There's nothing else on here. So we go back. We go back again. And then we go to add-ons. And we hit the little box up in the corner. We go install from zip file. Okay. It's going to tell us if for security, installations of add-ons from unknown sources is disabled. Don't worry about that. We just want to go to settings and hit the little button there um, for allowing it to install this for us and just go yes then we go back one and we are ready to go again so that's just a security saying that it's not a uh, add-on that um, Cody recognizes or it's not a Cody um, it's not one designed by Cody so it's nothing to worry about too much at all so install from zip we go down Cody. We go down to builds. So we go, okay. We go come into zip. We go down to repos, and we look for repository. Dot echo one point zero four. Now, depending when you're watching this, that echo build might be a little bit newer. Are a little bit old, uh, a little bit you know, might be older because you're not going to watch this in the past, are you? Um, so we click on it once and give it a couple of seconds to install. And once it's installed, it should be an add-on browser. Install from repository, and you'll see the Echo repository 1.04. Hit hit on there. Click on programs, add-ons. We want to click on. Echo Wizard, and when this nice cool little screen here pops up, go down to the bottom right hand corner and hit install. And as you can see, there it's downloading and installing for us. And there we go, it's nice as installed. So we go back, we go to programs, Echo Wizard. And there it is installing for us. Uh, and then, sorry, it's not installing quite yet. It gives us the list of what we're going to install. So let's come all up here to the very top. And we want to find community builds. And under that community build, you'll see a few builds there. But the one we're after is number two at the top there. As you can see, about 60,000 people have downloaded. And this week alone, 25,000 people. So it is quite a popular build. So we go OK onto that as well. And it's just warning us that if there's an issue with this build, that don't contact me, don't contact the Echo people, contact the um, builder of the build. 
But look, if there's issues, pop a message down in the bottom um, on the comments, and I'm happy to find out what's going on for you. So just hit Escape, and we want to go again down to Ultra TT. Download and off it goes. So look, there are a few steps involved there, but once it's on, it's on, and you're not going to really have any issues after this. So let's let it get to um, the install um, to the very end here, and once it comes to the very end, I will pick up again, and we will continue. Okay, we're at the end of the install now, and as you can see, it has finished. To, sa um, to save changes, you now need to force close Cody and press OK to close Cody. So what we'll do, we'll close Cody down, we'll come back in. We're about to close Cody, we'll like continue, and we're back into Cody now, and as you can see, it's very different, um, and it's got a different background. It's got your kids area, it's got your library, movies and TV shows etc so just when you're first coming in it does need time to download um, all its material and updates and images and photos so just give it that little bit of extra time 30 seconds to a minute is more than enough and when you see things start appearing up in this area here you know that it's ready to go um, so everything I just did along this tutorial will work just fine on Android or even a um, even a rooted um, iPhone or iPad or anything along those lines. There we go. There's the images starting to come up the top there. So meaning that uh, you're almost ready to go and when the pictures do come up you are ready to go. Okay everybody, so that was the completed second video for the updating of Kodi and updating the top tutorial build and a fresh install. If you want more information on the schism build, please let me know. Like I said, I'm happy to do a tutorial for it. If you missed the first video, you'll see it here at the side, um, or maybe this side, I don't know which side I'm going to put it on yet, um, and it will, you'll be able to click there and go back to that previous video. If there's any questions, please put them below. Um, comments, options, things you want to know, things you want to see, anything along those lines. Please give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. I notice I'm getting a lot of subscribers now, so thank you so much. Um, and I'll keep them coming.